Hello, thank you very much for tuning in to the Channel 5 News. I'm Dr. Stephen Brule. Please welcome Brandon Light. This is Brandon Light. I'm your host for the night, the beginning host, as they may say. And I'm bringing you guys a year in review. First, start, first, let's start with cultural news. I've heard that vaccines are now coming into the research and are possibly here to save mankind. These are for the polio disease. And this disease has detrimentally tore down our people left and right, up and down. Many kids have become paralyzed due to this disease. Oh! Whoa! It's an earthquake! Uh, due to this, and aren't able to walk or move their hands. They, they literally can't do anything anymore. It's so sad. Having this vaccine will show that polio won't be affecting our people anymore. Damn. <laughs> this earthquake. <laughs> so bad. It's a very bad earthquake. Sorry. It's like a 9.9 .9 magnitude, I heard. It's like when the, like, Earth, Venus, oh, jeez, look. It's fissuring. Jeez, alright. Gonna have to keep going through this, alright? Because of everybody becoming immune to this, it won't be affecting our people. Up next, we have... We have heard that Marciano has just won the World Heavyweight Championship this year. This is some big news because during this year, boxing was very popular. Everybody liked to watch it or just hear it through the radio. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> Sean, don't laugh. Oh my god. Just keep going, just keep going. No. <laughs> well, just we'll crop it out. No, just it no out. just stop. It was perfect. Just keep just going. Restart it. No. I want to restart this. No, dude, it's really good. Just keep going. I want to restart this. Brandon, no, sit down. Just keep going. During his fight, he was down the first six rounds. No, seven rounds. Sorry for that. And then all of a sudden, he knocked out his opponent, Jersey Joe Walcott. This happened in the 13th round. Also, so, it was pretty sketchy, if you may add. Like, if I was a boxer, I would be pretty sketch. Like, 13th round, I think there's like 15 or something. And then, like, I knock him out in the 13th. Dude, that's pretty dope. So, it was pretty sketchy. It was a pretty sketchy match for Rocky Marciano. His punch that knocked out his opponent was a right hook. Like a... That kind. And it was formerly known as the Suzy Q. After that, we have the famous pianist, Liberace. He was very popular during this year because he was also in the movie industry. Well, the television industry, I should say, but they're pretty much the same thing. On July 1st, 1952, he started his own show called The Liberace Show, but it wasn't that much of a success. It was a 15 minute network television program he did not do anything else memorable during that year or during the past year lastly we have Santayana and he was a very popular philosopher he was a naturalist which, a, which was very common which was a very common view from many philosophers of that time he was also found he, al he also found profound meanings in literary works and that kind of stuff, which was also common during that time. Mm -hmm, yeah. He sadly passed away this year on September 26th. You guys, it's a <laughs> revolution. It's an Apple iPhone. Yeah, Apple. Dang. Gotta be famous for that one. He sadly passed away this year on September 26th. He is known for his af af aphorisms. And... Done very po what? <laughs> oh, oh, sorry, sorry. I was reading the script wrong. He was very, he was very known for his aphorisms, and one very popular one was, in quotes, "Those who cannot remember the past are condemned 
Okay, repeat it. This was very... This was... No, this wasn't very. This was about the Holocaust. And he said, so we won't relive this tragedy. This is all for Cultural News. And now I present to you Sean Chen, formerly known as Kim Jong-un, for his political segment. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Brendan, for that excellent news report. And now it's time for some political news. Among all the events that happened this year, there are two that are most influential among the other ones. They're both related, related to the rotation of a country's power. Uh, let's begin with our very own country. Dwight D. Eisenhower and uh, Adlai Stevenson are running against each other for president, presidency. And uh, Eisenhower won by a major victory. He won popular votes by 9.7%. He has 30 more states than Atlai, and he has 353 more election votes than Stevenson. And we're exciting to see what this new president is going to bring to our country because he does have a military background, so hopefully he will bring our country to the right direction. The other news is about England. George VI died in his dream after a long time illness. Thankfully, it's in his dream, so he probably didn't feel too much pain when he died. Because of the system of England, they need one of his offsprings to see his throne. In this case, he has two daughters, and of course, the, the older one will take the throne, which is Elizabeth II. Elizabeth is born in April 21st, 1926, which means she's crowned at the age of 27, which is really young. We're excited to see what she's going to do for England. Thank you, and uh, let's give our attention to Ethan Thomas. Thank you, Brandon and Sean, for that outstanding introduction, and hello to you. The great president of the United States, Dwight Eisenhower, was born in Denison, Texas, which is located right here. He did his presidency in the wonderful Washington, D.C., which is right here. Moving towards health, vaccines were beginning... Oh, I apologize. Apparently, we're having an earthquake right now. Okay. Fantastic. <laughs> Aftershock. All right. Looks like we're getting ahead of that. All right. Vaccines were beginning a major part of the advancement of the world's U.S. health. Founded by James K. Sulk, he studied in the University of Michigan. Up, 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 up. Right here, University of Michigan. Up. Where he researched forms of medication. In 1947, he was named the head of the head of his research and studied at a lab in the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center, which is located right, right here. Oh my goodness, looks like my house is being turned over. Sorry folks. On the other side of the world, England announced a new queen, Elizabeth II, born in Mayfair, London, right here. Back to the great country of America, Rocky Marciano, born in Brock Brockton, Massachusetts, which is right here. In 1952, he fought Joe Walcott for the World Heavyweight Championship in Philadelphia. And Philadelphia is right here, in which he won this outstanding title. Going away from the sports section of America towards the musical industry, Liberace was born in Wisconsin, right here. Oh, oh, another earthquake, I guess. And unfortunately, his death was in Palm Springs, California, which is right here. Oh, can't let her go away. There you go. All right. In 1951, he created the Liberace show that was filmed in Los Angeles, California. 
this was his major breakthrough. And finally, George Sant Santayana was born in Spain. Right here. And he had the unfortunate death on September 26, 1952, in Rome, Italy. Here. I will turn my post over to myself for the fire tracker. Hello again, I'm Ethan Thomas with the Fire Tracker, and many reasons can be said for why Billy Joel put a lot of these people and items and events into the song, but many reasons are like this. It is always be, it is always important when a new nation gets a new leader, so we can see why Billy Joel put Ice Tower and Queen Elizabeth in this song. We didn't start the fire. Next. He also put vaccines in the song because vaccines help people and the world a lot because it made them immune to disease, the vaccine, and help them survive. Without vaccines, our life expectancy would be very short, so this shows a significance for Billy Joel. Another is Marciano, which was a famous boxer who retired undefeated. He was considered one of the best at that time and of all time. This shows why Billy decided to put him in a song. For Liberace, he had a different. He had a different show where it became very, very popular. He was, his music also was very renowned, and he was a pianist genius. Now for Santayana, his death was heard all around the world because he was a very well-known philosopher of his time. He had many quotes that are known of by many, and this is why he was put in the song. Now, thank you for tuning in to Channel 5 News. This is Ethan Thomas, Brandon Light, and Sean Cheen for We Are Now Signing Out.